Hey my two friends, I've been waiting this for a little while. And today in this video, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the cheapest, probably the cheapest, one terabyte Surface Laptop 7. I got this Surface Laptop from Microsoft eStore. If you have a Microsoft employee friend, you can um, ask him for help to get one of these. Snapdragon X Plus, 16, 16 gigabyte of RAM and 256 gigabyte of SSD. I don't intend to use the 250 gigabyte of uh, SSD. This is just a way to way too small. Okay, so I tear this open. This is sealed. This is like first time I opened this box. Uh, yes, okay, the case here. Okay, so, oh, nice, really nice. Um, this, I'm not sure if you can see this immediately. So the screen immediately light up. Light up. Booting up, let's check out what's in the box. Pretty standard charger, like a Surface charger. Um, use the mag magnet connector on the, on the side of the Surface laptop and a um, charging cable, of course, here. All right, um, and a bunch of paperwork that, and that's it. I think that's it, that's just the box. Press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. This laptop is really looking really clean and no stickers of other branding. Let's um, enter the system, setting up everything, have all the drivers installed and do a proper test. This is the second part of building the cheapest Surface Laptop 7 2 terabyte in the whole YouTube community. Finally got this uh, SSD from Amazon. This is a like uh, West Digital Black SN770M series. It's a two terabyte SSD. Actually, uh, in my previous video, we were I I I was talking about I supposed to build the cheapest one terabyte Surface Laptop 7 in the whole YouTube community. And I, uh, because that one is much cheaper than the two terabyte one, this one, um, that was under $100. And that'll make the total cost of that Surface Laptop below $1,000. And that'll be like 949 ish But unfortunately, I made a mistake and ordered this one, the two terabyte uh, SSD from Amazon. And this one is like uh, almost the $200, but that's fine. We'll build the cheapest the two terabyte a Surface Laptop 7 in the YouTube community instead. It'll still be well below $1,100. If you go for like the OEM, the original Surface lap Laptop par parts, the SSD, that'll be way more expensive, maybe double the price or like half the size, depending on what size you want to upgrade to. Anyway, yeah, let's open this box here. Okay, let's cut this open and get this thing out. Some paperwork and this is the main thing. Okay, it's, yeah, it's pretty small. You can see it's like less than half the size of a regular M2 SSD. I mean, it's the same interface and it's the same connector. It's just a, a much, much smaller size. Okay, let's pop this out. Uh, the sticker looks good, good. The SSD is unused and its performance is quite good. Actually, you can see it's like a sequential reading performance over five terabyte per second, which is ridiculous. <laughs> and yeah, it's write speed is also pretty, pretty decent. Now with the SSD here, let's put that aside, put the paperwork aside, the box aside, put them here, now comes to the Surface Laptop. Actually, it's pretty easy to, to pop off. Uh, you just need to like pop off these four uh, covers and under the covers, there will be some screws. You use the T5 screwdriver to unscrew them, and the back shell is supposed the back cover is supposed to be taken off easily after that. Okay, so before we unscrew the screws and to open the to, to pop the Surface Laptop 7 open, what we need to do, which is very very important, is to create the recovery disk. You need to prepare a flash drive. At this point, I guess any flash drive that has a size of like larger than 32 gigabyte uh, gigabyte is totally working. Uh, and if it's a faster SSD drive, it'll just make the whole process much faster. But I guess like USB 2.0 interface can also work. So I got this one, the one terabyte uh, SSD drive here. I'm connecting to the Surface, uh, Surface Laptop 7. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is here in, in Google, I'll just uh, um, scroll to the top and uh, search for Surface Laptop Recovery Image. 
download. And now I go to this Microsoft official web, uh, website and uh, it asks me to sign in to download the recovery image. Now, as I sign into this website, I got to choose my Surface laptop uh, version, the, the seventh edition. Now I took a photo of my serious number here. I'll just neglect that in my video recording, of course. Now it gives me the option to download the Windows 11 home version 2024 H2 and download the image. Okay guys, it took us a little bit time to download the whole thing, the whole recovery disk. The next thing we need to do is we create a recovery disk. So how to create a recovery disk? First, open the settings and then uh, search for create, uh, for, search for recovery. Okay, now in the last uh, last item, you can see the create the recovery drive option and it'll open this, this app to create a recovery drive. Uh, now, and track the backup system files to, to the recovery drive because we just need the recovery, uh, all the, all the boot, boot, boot up files in the recovery image we just downloaded, nothing else. Then it asks ask us to select the USB flash drive. This is the flash drive we, we just mentioned here. Some pretty standard warnings, everything on this drive will be deleted, deleted. If you have any personal files on the drive, make sure you've backed them up and then create, uh, create. This is going to take a couple of minutes uh, it's relatively fast because I have a faster SSD and uh, I mean, I have a faster slash flash drive and we choose not to back up the system file. So the whole process will be uh, pretty quick. Okay, now we have the recovery drive ready here. If you check that, uh, this recovery drive, it has a few files in it. Bear with me, that's my kid playing. Uh, okay, so the next step we're gonna do is we need to copy everything from the recovery image to that recovery drive. So I select all the files, uh, copy them, copy, then I paste them to the root folder of this newly created recovery drive. Okay, so it took us some more time to finish the creation of this recovery disk. So now it's all done. We have everything here. Okay, as you can see, these rubbers here, this uh, covers here, the four ones are su supposed to be like easily pop off. I think you can just use your fingers to snatch this out. And if you can't, you can use some, some other tools. I'll just pop this out um, relatively easy, not too, too tight or there's no glue or any adjacent in it. Uh, yeah, so keep, keep this pads here on the side. And now uh, as we prepared a T5 screwdriver to unscrew the screws here. Okay, let's do this. The first one, let's screw here. The second one, the third one, and the fourth one. Make sure they're fully unscrewed uh, and keep them, keep them well. Now I'm, oh, it's actually really easy to pop off. And there's no, nothing attached to the cover of the, of, of. okay. Okay, now we have access to the SSD here. Looking pretty clean and uh, yeah. So let's unscrew this one here. All right, take a look at the like inside of Surface Laptop. Looking really good. Okay. We have some, we have some tapes here. Just gonna remove this tape. Okay, as you can see, it's a 256 gigabyte of SD here. Yep. Now, um, it's the same size as the replacement replacement here we got. Same size. Okay, I'll give a comparison to these two. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, as I replace this, I put this in, put this in here. Screw it. <laughs> screw it and tape this back on make sure it doesn't fall off and connect them tight okay um 
put back the cover, carefully screw back the scoop screws. Okay, awesome. It's really, really easy to uninstall and install these. Okay, now, moment of truth. Let's open this lid, connect the back cover, USB drive, and power up. Okay, okay, now it's putting up. You should ask me to choose the USB drive because the main SSD doesn't have anything, doesn't have a system. Okay, I think now it's loading the recovery drive with just the built. Yeah, I'll do a full, fully clean the drive option. All right, folks, I guess this, this is going to take quite a few minutes. So uh, we'll be back after this recovery is done. Okay, welcome back, guys. Oh, so it took another two hours uh, to this whole re image or recovery completely finished. The new system, the new Windows ARM system is running on the two terabyte SSD we got replaced. And this one is the old one, the 256 gigabyte of uh, the original SSD. Pretty standard as we just the first got a Surface laptop and everything is the same, exactly the same as we first boot this, this machine a few days ago. Choose the language, choose the keyboard. Do you want to add a second second keyboard layout? Skip for now. We got the cheapest Surface Laptop 7 with two terabyte SSD in the whole YouTube community. We got this uh, a total cost less than 1100. It's a uh, 10, uh, it's $1,050. Of course, we had to use some like Microsoft employee benefit. And if you can find a friend working there to get the Surface Laptop 7 at a discounted price. Oh, so yeah, that's all we want to share with you guys, how to get a, like a cheaper Surface laptop and turn it into an upgrade SSD to a much larger size, depending on your need. And all right, thanks for watching. If you're looking into buying one of the Snapdragon X laptops or Windows ARM laptops, this is the one to go. The Surface Laptop 7 is definitely the one to go. 